here with head coach Jim Madigan after Northeastern's 5 to nothing win against Dalhousie. And, Coach, uh, great way to start the season. You no, know, it was, uh, Matt. You know, the kids uh, worked hard. You know, we came into this tonight's game, you know, trying to just work on the areas that we've worked on in practice the last, uh, you know, two to three weeks. We haven't had many structured practices. And, you know, this was a measurement for us to see where we're at, you know, three weeks into it. And, you know, there's some things we did well. And there's some things that uh, that we knew they were going to have to work on. And those were evident in certain parts of our game tonight. And, and we'll get back to the drawing board on, on Monday. Monday on those areas but pleased with the the effort I thought was there for all 60 minutes and uh, we'll get back on Monday and um, you know get back to get ready for next weekend's uh, series against uh, Alabama Huntsville. A lot of guys in the lineup tonight coach uh, anybody in particular stand out to you? You know, I, I thought we had contributions uh, from all our guys. I thought our older guys played well and led early, uh, and they established the older guys' forwards, established a four-check for us. I thought, uh, you know, our defensemen back there, Josh Manson and, and uh, Dustin Drew, played well together early to, to settle things down for us, which I thought we needed. And then, obviously, when you look at the score sheet, you know, uh, some of our younger guys got on the score sheet uh, pretty well tonight, and Johnny Stevens had a very good game and had two goals, might have been able to have three or four. Uh, Mike Spatula was around around the net and uh, had a goal and assist. You know, Braden Pym had two assists and, um, you know, Dale and Hedges showed his, you know, his quickness in tight areas and scoring and hit up goal posts again. So, you know, I like the way, uh, and those are the guys who were on the score sheet, but I thought all our freshmen played well and I thought our, our upperclassmen led early, uh, both in the forwards and defense and um, so pleased all, all around. Again, it's, it's just the first step in a long, long journey here. Uh, in addition, all three goaltenders saw time today. Uh, what did you see out of three of them? You know, and for goaltenders, it, it might be the toughest for them because they need to play games, you know, and they can be in practice as much as they want facing as many shots, but nothing replicates a game situation. So, you know, although it was only a period for each of them, it, it, it gets them into into a rhythm and uh, in facing game situations. So I thought all three of them played well. I thought, you know, Clay started early, uh, started the game and, you know, was able, I thought he was aggressive, which he needs to be. Uh, and it might have been easier for him because, you know, the, he had the warm-up shots and he was ready to go going in second and going third is a little more difficult um, but saying that I thought that Brian Mountain did a real good job and and uh, Derek Waugh uh, in, in both you know in their position you know they didn't face many shots but you know we're looking at their positioning we're looking at uh, the rebound control watching how they're falling the puck and we thought they all three of them did that very well um, you know two power play goals tonight another shorthanded goal just talk about the special teams a little bit yeah you know it's an area where we recognize that we think we can be really good in this in, in this in both power play and, and uh, penalty killing. We've got enough skill to score goals. I think you saw that tonight, uh, and we've got more depth of forwards and defensemen killing penalties than we've had here uh, in my early tenure. So I'm thrilled that we we can go with a little deeper bench on the man down and power play. We've got the skills. So uh, I thought we moved the puck around well. I thought we had some good looks on the power play. We're, I think, two for eight. Um, I'll take it because, I, you know, I thought we could have maybe even got to three or four. Uh, we, in the middle of those power plays, uh, we had lost a couple of personnel guys uh, who, who got banged up a little bit uh, and had missed a few shifts, so it threw off our alignment. We just started working on the power play on on. Thursday and Friday were the first two days. So to see where we're at, two for eight and some good looks, I'm happy with that. Yeah, next week it counts, Coach. Uh, Alabama Huntsville coming to town, a much different team than we saw here last year. What do you expect from them? You know, uh, new coaching staff, as we know, a coaching staff, uh, head coach that was at uh, – at the Air Force Academy, and, and we know that their program has, has been a very good one, and nationally, uh, a team that's gone to the national tournament. So I expect them to come in. They'll play hard. Um, you know, they gave us you know some troubles here last year. You know, I think we outshot them in the first game by a pretty significant margin, and we couldn't find the net. Uh, the second game, we were in a dogfight, um, and then we end up winning. So uh, you're right; it counts next week, and that's you know that's what I told our guys, and they're going to have to uh, you know realize that come Monday, you know, we get back to the drawing board. And, and start focusing on what we need to get done because uh, there's no more gi you know gimmies uh, Monday excuse me next Friday and Saturday are, are, are the real thing. Great, thank you very much, Coach.